Well, g'day everyone. Sorry for the shaky video, but I do need a video camera stabiliser at some point. So, didn't know they existed until recently, so whatever. Anyway, looking at a um, Toro lawnmower here. It's a, uh, what they call a wheel horse. 1232XL. We go back to the back of it. We got some serial numbers and whatnot. And um, this was free. So, what I basically did was, and this is a lesson for, well, advice, I guess, maybe. Any, any of you younger guys, you know, maybe you're not even 18, whatever. Maybe you are, maybe you're just like me and you're just like picking stuff up and you're bored. So I went on to my local social media page, like Facebook, and I put up a message in my local notice, community notice board saying if anybody's got lawnmowers that they're going to throw out, then uh, I'll just come and get them for nothing, basically. And I was pretty surprised that somebody would just give away a ride on like that. So the motor we go here is quite a decent size one. It's a 12 horsepower. Synchro balanced, yeah, they have a weight in the back of them. It's a bit hard to explain how it works if you've never had one apart. It's industrial cast iron, as it says. So there are the stats on the motor. If I can hold the camera still. 1997, the fifth month of the sixth day. You're probably wondering if it runs. Oh yeah, there's a bit of a caveat to that. Here's uh, the outgoing pipe. So, obviously that's got something... Well, obviously that shouldn't be like it. And if we uh, go to here, the pipe's missing altogether. Like, there's the hole in the muffler for it. And it should be going up to here. So what I'm going to have to do because a muffler's about 200 bucks, is I'm going to have to trailer the thing with, with no bonnet, obviously with the heat shield removed, take it to my local exhaust place and say, look, this is what I want you to do. Bend up a piece of pipe and obviously weld this one back in. So it should start up. You know, being a more modern machine, it requires everything to be in park and in neutral and the whole bit. So... It, it should fire up, it may not, but anyway. It does have choke, so... I'll take choke off now. So as you can imagine, it's obviously really loud because it's got no muffler but she doesn't blow smoke. It seems to run extremely well. It's got nearly no fuel in it either, by the way. So. The main bits in this thing actually work pretty well. I'll take it back and forth just a, a little bit. So the, uh, the main problem this has got, apart from the fact that it sounds dreadful because it's got no exhaust basically, is the uh, deck hit a tree stump and it's bent. Now it's a bit hard to show you on the video because it's really not that easy to spot in actual life, but I have sort of tried pounding it, but here's the cracked paint here. It's sort of, it's bent like that. I've got unbolted at the moment, but so I'm going to take it apart, see what needs to happen to straighten it out. It might even involve some shims, some washers. So I'll have to take this apart, set it down on a surface that's reasonably level, and um, 
basically what I'll do is put a straight edge across obviously with it with it flipped the other way I'll put a straight edge from like there to the other side kind of thing and I'll take measurements you know with a with a stainless ruler so the blade on it is actually pretty new I don't know where I put that I think it's sitting on the other right on the guy said he replaced the blade not long before he took it out of service so here's the blade here a right, bigger blade than I'm used to right so you can see that it hasn't done a lot of work like the cutting edge is still pretty good so yeah I've got all these other mowers lying around <coughs> I got this mass bought here with a mulching plug which initially it looks like a great you know mower it looks like a like a million bucks but I'm gonna start these up in separate videos and do teardowns but this one smokes spoiler alert this one here is eight years old, so this was owned by elderly people who didn't thrash it and always got it serviced. But in 2019, there's a whole failure analysis thing I'm going to go over and why this thing's smoky. This thing here looks even better. Uh, it's an overhead valve, Briggs and Stratton 500E. But the thing is, these newer Stratton motors, the um, domestic ones, are just crap. They're just absolute junk. I mean, you know, they're not made to last, so even the starter on this thing is a chintzy plastic thing that sort of just clips in. It's not even bolted in. Like, can you see that moving around? And it's just junk. I mean, these older ones would, were a bit better, but I still class them as junk. But these ones are pretty obviously done. Like, you know, I've been told this one ran up till recently, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll get it going and give it away. So anyway, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this thing at the moment. It's going to require a lot of time. And if I were to sell this thing, I'd have to charge more than it's worth because of the amount of time it's going to take to straighten the deck out properly, if it's even possible. So it obviously needs a really good clean-up. It's filthy. And that's... yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching.